I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. It can seem odd that life evolved on the earth to such a degree of diversity and complexity when there is no sign of life in any other part of the universe. An answer to this question could give us an answer to many other questions, like what is the driving force behind life? Also an understanding of why the earth was so special could give us an answer to the fundamental nature of the universe. These videos explain the universe as a continuum based on a universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This process is formed by the exchange of photon energy with the spontaneous absorption and emission of light forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. Such a process will form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation. The problem is, for this process to have the potential to form cell life, there has to be a process of symmetry forming and breaking already in motion. Otherwise the process will just form entropy or disorganization in three dimensions. For the Earth, this symmetry was in the form of the lunar cycle, forming the motion of the tides. By driving the tides, our moon forms a predictable oscillation, forming harmonic motion, that a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking can build upon. Photon energy cascades down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy, with the momentum of light forming the driving force for life. The same process unfolds on the planet Mars, forming a similar landscape to some parts of the Earth, but without the predictable repetition that a large moon relative to the Earth forms, there is no life. This can be seen in the nature of cell life with every life form, from Australia's Great Barrier Reef to individual earthworms, having reproduction cycles that mimic the lunar cycle. I will place links below this video to independent research that supports this. If this theory is correct, Darwin's theory of evolution, at the most fundamental level, could be based on a geometrical process that can be explained by physics. This could explain why life seems to be mathematical. The maths represents the geometry of the process. In such a theory, the ebb and flow of the oceans and the evolution of life is part of one universal process. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.